Are you leading a team or is your goal to lead a team? This seminar is for you. Effective leaders recognize when new behaviors, attitudes or skills are needed and accept responsibility for developing them. Our job is to deliver leadership program that not only gives you the chance to step back and understand the shifting demands placed on you and your team, but also help you identify how to deliver change and expand your leadership capacity. In order to develop yourself, you need to be aware of your thoughts, your emotions, your attitudes and your daily activities. In order to work better with others, you need to develop your one interpersonal skills, two, ability to build relationships, and three, ability to skillfully communicate. We will guide you throughout the process of change so that you become more responsible and a visionary. Investing in yourself, improving your skills, improving your relations, improving your health are probably the best investments you'll ever make. Because if you take time and you put effort in improving the three aspects of your life I've just mentioned, definitely it is a good investment. This will not only help you in living a more successful life, but it will also help those around you to enjoy life. If you have not started thinking about improving your skills, your health, you need to start thinking about that. How can you do it? What is the best approach? The best approach is to read books. At least one book every month. The next thing you can do is to at attend seminars and workshops about personal development or in relation to your, your career, your profession. If you do that, then definitely there is something good that you will experience. You need to stop blaming other people for lack of progress in, in your life. You need to start putting a lot of effort you need to put a lot of effort. You need to encourage yourself. You need to collect yourself. It is always, if you see someone developing financially and professionally, it's because every day, every morning, they put more effort into becoming a better person. Now, there are a lot of struggles. People have a lot of struggles. People have a lot of you know, things to do, but you need to think and develop the necessary skills to maintain cutting edge advances in your profession or business. If you do not do that, it is, it is going to be very difficult for you to add value to people's lives and your life as well. And it is in adding value that you make money and you make success out of it. Thank you for watching. If it is your first time that you are seeing this program, please hit subscribe and turn on notifications. We put up a lot of free information here, which may be useful. The path to success requires you to build strong foundation. And that foundation is you. I want to read to you a quote by John Maxwell. Growth is the greatest separator between those who succeed and those who do not. When I see a person beginning to separate themselves from the pack, it is almost always due to personal growth. John Maxwell. Now, how do you grow and what is personal development? Personal development is developing yourself as an individual. And how do you do that? 
you have to work on the eight pillars of the mind. Pillar number one is your thought, your emotion, your attitude, your perception, imagination, courage. Once you work on those, then you have to work on your focus and your belief system. Those are the eight pillars of the mind. These are not very simple things to work on, but you have to cultivate and work on them very hard. Once you develop those faculties, then you are going to begin to see things different. Your perception is the way the world comes across to you. Your thought is what comes into your mind. If you cannot control what you think about, then everything comes to you and you do not know how to deal with everything. Your imagination is how you view the world tomorrow. How do you want to lead your life in three years' time? Your focus. If you are not the type of people who can focus on one thing at a time, you have to work and develop your focus. Your belief system, all this will come down to building your belief system. Once you believe you can do it, no one can stop you. We put up a lot of information here. If you like us to notify you, please subscribe and turn on notification. You have to be aware of two things. What comes through as you think and your environment, those people who surround you, those things that you bring them closer, though the environment where you live, you have to be aware and you have to view the environment, your environment in a positive manner. Every day I'm realizing more and more that man makes success or failure his own success or failure it's not about fit it's not about the environment it's not about any other condition it is what is in your head your mind that makes you what you want if you are born in a poor family it's not your fault if you are born in a ghetto, it's not your fault. But it is your fault when you grow up, if you still remain poor. Because we have been given the capacity, an inborn capacity, to live in abundance. I get a lot of questions regarding success. People ask, how can I be successful? How can I excel in what I am doing? The simple answer is like this. You need to set yourself a huge goal, a task that you think it is difficult for you to accomplish. When you look at your current situation, and the task you want to accomplish, you compare your current situation and the task you want to accomplish, there is huge difference. Maybe you are thinking, oh no, I can't do it. But that is the only way you can progress. You have to, your, you have to set your target very high and then you slowly grow into that person who can do, who can accomplish, who can conquer that task. 
Without that, you don't have a task, you don't know how to grow. If you want to be successful, you must become that person who can be successful. Very simple. These are simple ideas when you look at it from face value. But if you think about it, you strive to do one, two, three steps. As I have mentioned earlier, then you will come to appreciate the importance of setting a high target and slowly growing into the person who can achieve or conquer the target, conquer the goal. People don't grow by accident. Wealth is not created by accident. Knowledge is not acquired by accident. Success is not achieved by accident. I want to leave you with one quote. I want you to reflect on this quote as you think about setting your goal and working towards that goal, becoming a person who can conquer that goal. Martin Luther said this, if you can't fly towards your goal, that is, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. Whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. We put up a lot of information, free information here. If you like us to notify you, please hit subscribe and turn on notifications.